Hi guys, Luke here again, just another quick update. Um, some pretty exciting stuff happened for me over the past couple of days, so uh, with regards to the CNC machine, uh, so I'm pretty stoked anyway. Uh, I went to do some CNC work yesterday and my computer failed. Uh, I'm not really too sure what happened, but I ended up reformatting. Uh, so I went back to Windows XP and Mark III is actually running much, much better on Windows XP. I don't know if that's a a hardware compatibility thing or what, what not, but um, I'm glad I did that. Uh, the next thing I did was I changed the ramp up time and the uh, the stopping time or ramp down time I guess, deceleration time from 20 seconds to 2 seconds so now I don't have to wait for my spindle to uh, spool up or down very long. Um, I'll show you now anyway, this is how quickly it spools up. and spool down. So that saves me a bit of time just waiting in between cycles starting and stopping the spindle left. Uh, I found the English manual for that so if you would like it I can quite happily send you the link so you can read up on it yourself. Uh, you'll notice that my VFD also says 24,000 RPM rather than 11,520 or 40 or whatever it defaults to. Okay so that that was done. That's all well and good. Um, Somebody kind of had a go at me on, on one of my other videos regarding my uh, cooling system not being treated, so thanks for that because it gave me the kick in the butt to go to the store the next day and get a bit of uh, treatment for it. So my um, cooling system now has some protection against corrosion and uh, underneath here, oh, I'll just get my phone light so you can have a look. I changed from an open reservoir to a fully enclosed ones to stop um, foreign matter coming inside so I've got that there now uh, with my pump. I still need to clean up the piping a little bit but um, yeah that's acting as a reservoir and I've chosen not to run a, uh, a heat exchanger. Um, I would like to do that in the future but I just don't have time at the moment uh, with all with the, between machine operation and stuff like that so um, yeah Okay, next bit, uh, success with my vacuum table. Um, some of you guys know that I've been working on a vacuum table for a while now for making these little legs for my business. Um, so these are kind of held down. Let me just refocus that. Stupid camera. Um, these legs basically, or well, a whole sheet will sit on here and it'll be held down by the vacuum and then these legs will be cut out from it. So I finally got that to work. Uh, over here is like a failed attempt where I tried to make a much too big one and then uh, yada yada. It didn't, it didn't end up working. So I went for a smaller version this time. Uh, my vacuum pump's just over there. And I've got a, between the vacuum table and the pump, I've got this air filter, which I'm using as like a strainer or a suction filter to prevent stuff um, getting into the pump itself and a vacuum gauge so uh, yeah I'm just gonna hook that up and show you how well it works because I'm so stoked that it works it took me a lot of time to get that right uh, for the seal I sourced some very fine capillary tube for medical or or uh, optical use um, came from Western Australia so it's in a diameter 0.5 millimeter out of diameter is two and a half millimeter so I routed the channels using a three millimeter uh, ball end end mill so yeah I'm just waiting on a little bit more silicon for this channel um, I've got the ports blocked off with hot glue for the moment and uh, that's going to hold the material rather than the part which I'm cutting so the material is, is also secure right so I'll just hook it up quick and then you can see what it looks like when it's uh, under vacuum This is without any material on it. At the moment it's held down by the vacuum. Uh, it must have a little bit of a leak somewhere because I don't have um, as much of a vacuum as I would like but it's still pretty good. Uh, in the next couple of days I'll give it a go milling it. I'm just waiting on a little bit more silicon tubing and uh, I'll post back the results but 
so far I'm really stoked. Um, I'm super proud. It's like I had a, had a baby or something. But yeah. Uh, also, I used my fog buster on some aluminium. As you can see, there's some liquid WD-40 inside the reservoir. And that thing is worth its money. Um, it is freaking awesome. So, if you've got a little bit of money to spend on something like that, it's a good little unit to pick up. Alright guys, until next time, uh, take it easy, and yeah, love to hear your comments. Cheers. Bye.